Colorado School of Mines was a godsend. Um, so it took me two years to get out. I took active part in the student body, and every um, fraternity wanted me to join there. <laughs> I said, no, I won't, die, but I'll come and visit you so I can have a beer. <laughs> <laughs> how, can I ask you, how many in 1948 in Golden, Colorado, right. how many international students were in okay. the Very interesting. Yeah. Now, Golden is about 20 miles outside Denver. So you come to Denver and go to... Uh, uh, golden in a, you know in those days they had a tramway if you didn't have a car you can always go by tramway every hour on the hour and the Colorado School of Mines was internationally recognized so we had a good foreign student contingent especially in geology since Saudi Arabia contributed very heavily to the petroleum section, petroleum department. So they used to always have petroleum engineers who were, you know, from Saudi Arabia or Turkey, Egypt, you know. Few Indian students, and interestingly, two additional Parsi students. And um, it was wonderful to know that there were at least two students who were, we could talk to in our own language, and um, so that that was good. And um, but I felt uh, very free, uh, free to express myself. And the American students were wonderful to me. They they, they just considered me as a brother, younger kid. You know, you did the, and uh, they would take me out on weekends. We'd go outing and all. So it was a wonderful environment, completely different from what you would expect in India or Pakistan. Because small school and more contact with the students. Can I ask you? I mean, be, I guess because you grew up uh, yes. knowing Americans, you, your your family knew um, Goldwater. Um, I suppose you you knew something of what to expect. And of course, there's there's popular culture coming. Oh in yeah, films yeah. About the United States. That's right. Um, was, what was most surprising to you or unexpected when you, when you arrived there? Did you have an image in your mind? Of what no, was? I always felt that the, because we had the American soldiers in Karachi stationed there, I found out very friendly and always obliging and giving information. Of course, they always talked about uh, all the presidents and they said, do you know anything about history and, <laughs> and all that? And there were documents documentaries at the council. They had a very active program, American Embassy. So they had, uh, you know, short subjects and taking you through rural to uh, Chicago. And and then, of course, my grandmother and mother and father said, Chicago, you know, we got gangsters there. How are you <laughs> So that was the biggest thing they told me is we keep away from the gangsters from <laughs> because <laughs> Chicago, New York, and big, and uh, and so I expected United to be what I saw and what I had read about, and I was uh, practically living at the council because there's so many magazines, and so it, it was good that uh, I was exposed to that, and then I know that from. From New York, I went to Bombay by um, a train, and the train stop was Chicago. And we had a three-hour break. So I went out, and uh, I talked to the policeman there. I said, sir, I would like to see all of Chicago. He said, how many hours do you have? I said, about two hours. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> and all the people around were laughing. He says, son, take that bus. It'll take you to this point, and then you take the other bus that's coming back, and you will see some of Chicago. And you did. And I did. And I saw the downtown area. I saw the seas. You know, I thought that was beautiful. 
must have been. Yeah, and it was September, so it was nice, you know. Yeah. And um, so this, this was um, uh, one experience that I should tell you. When in New York, I was there for four days, and I went to Broadway. I said, I'm going to see a show. Uh, uh, I looked at this theater, that theater, that. And there are so many pictures and so many good actors. I couldn't make up my mind. <laughs> <laughs> you so you saw nothing. I, nothing. I saw nothing. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so, but you had that uh, so this was I saw completely what I expected, and what I expect didn't expect is how the American younger generation was hospitable and how they. You know, become you become a part of it. You become like a family, mm -hmm. and um, so it was more than I had expected. And the teaching was superb.